Welcome, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Prue, or Prue LaRue, and today is a first impressions of a gazillion different products. There's some new stuff, some old stuff. Let's just try it all on. So I'm gonna start the day off with the Bright Eyes Serum. My eyes are looking a little bit sad. So this is the Gold Pattern MD Bright Eyes. It came in my Mecca Beauty Loop box, and it's meant to brighten up your eyes. Then moving in, the VDL Primer Layer. I've been reading about this. This has some very strange claims. Oh, let me just put them up there. Um, but it's got something to do with ultraviolet, I don't know, oddness. So you're meant to rub it on your fingers and then pat it on and it's like a highlighter and it's magical. But this was from my Beautylish Lucky Bag. Do I look stunning? I think I meant to. And sorry if it seems like I'm rushing through, but there's a lot of products today. So I picked up the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. I've got Ivory L2, so just the second lighter shade. And I picked up something exciting. The Juno Sponge. Mecca have been stocking these for a while. It just seems so stupid. I had to try it, and it's quite cheap. It came with instructions, and the instructions said to put it on a thing and then pat it on and then blend it out. That said to smear. Oh, and I figured let's do a half face with the sponge and then, I mean, this is the first time I've used this foundation, so I'm not really sure how we're gonna go, but I would normally always use a brush. So let's do the other side with a brush. One pump and brush. This is bizarrely different. So this side is a lot dewier, and this side is a bit more matte. That is very weird. But I think you get a little bit more coverage with this, but this is like creating dewy effect. I'm, I'm a bit confused. I'll keep playing with the Juno sponge. Currently I'm confused. I don't have a new concealer. So let's just go on with an old classic. Uh, NARS Radiant Creamy in Vanilla. I'm just gonna blend this out with the brush a bit. So I, when I swatched the Flower Beauty foundation, I did notice it really didn't seem to dry down. It took a long time. And it sort of, you could still, I could still manipulate it a couple minutes later. So let's set this beauty with some powder. I'm just going with my Hourglass Veil Setting Primer. All right, and now that we're sort of all set, let's chuck on some of these. I'm just going with some old classics. Um, and this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I believe I'm using Dim Light. And this will just buff it down. And you know, this is what I do with my normal foundations. I think I've only used this one once so far, the Urban Decay Primer Eyeshadow Potion. So it's relatively new to me. I don't know what I want. So I'm going to go in and do eyes now. So I just want to blend this out a little bit. And then let's go in with Kittenfish uh, into the crease. So the primer is quite sticky and I can feel it really grabbing the shadow. What a pretty purple. So I'm going to go in with Fan Fiction. I'm going to draw that triangle in. And this is going to help guide me to where to blend. And then I just want to use a really small blendy blend. So go in my Morphe, my Morphe R41. And in, in fan fiction, I'm gonna help just pat out this outer edge. All right, and then I'm just gonna use the same brush and bring fan fiction on the inner corner. I'm gonna try for a differentish, I don't know, a halo effect without doing the cut crease. All 
But I'm going to go into a chiclet. And I'm just going to dab these both on the outer rims. I guess I should bring like just to bring join these together a little bit. Alright, and then going into do a do. I'm gonna try it without spritzing it, but I think I'm gonna have to spritz it. Uh spritzing's in order. And then I'm just going to go on with a clean blendy blend. I just want to fix up this part here. Actually, let's go in, back in the kitten fish. And I just want to gently blend out the edges. Alright, and then we have some fallout. Let's hope. Um, I didn't really powder down. We got most of it. Just this little dab here. Oh yeah, I feel like it, it it needs some deepening on the outer bit. I'm going to dip into Sleeper, which is like a maroony Because I just really want, like, I want to blend this purple out a bit nicer. I do like the colours, but can you see how that sort of just deepened it up a little bit? And it's just mixing with that purple a little bit nicer. Alright, so that's going in with... Sleeper underneath the eye. Sorry, so I've just gone in with a little bit of concealer from the brush and I just wanted to clean that up a little bit. And do you think we need a little bit of pizzazz on that inner corner? Let's go on with a little sharpie one and go into Mr. Sandman. This is a very crumbly. Alright. Then moving in. Let's put a nice little layering of bronzer. So this is my Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light. It's not new, but it, it's not well used. So I figured that quarantined it. That, that meant I could use it right now. Um, oh no, I still haven't mastered. <laughs> Look how orange I just made that one dab. All right, I think I managed to blend it out I'm sure you might let me know. So I'm a bit stuck, but we've just had the Tutti Fruity release in Australia. I was a bit excited about this. And I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't excited at all. I wasn't even checking for it. But I went in and that takes two to mango. And I tried it out. I fell in love. It's got a really beautiful fruity scent and it's just like an abnormal color of gloss that I kind of secretly love. Though I don't think we're matching. I'm devastated but not today. I also picked up Flower Beauty in English Rose. And I hope that look is a bit more flattering. Sorry, I know I'm all over the shop here. I've got my NARS Orgasm. I do have a really old version of this. I've definitely shown you before. But I don't think I really used the new one. And I got this in my Beauty Loop box the other day. So let's give it a whirl. And I also picked up something else new. I'm skipping all over the place. Um, I know, I'm sorry picked up give me brow in mini this cost me 20 dollars but um i got my brows done at, I, at benefit the other day and i've been wanting to try give me brow because everyone says it's amazing so this is my very first time using it so she said it gives you like the effect that you've tinted your brows which i've been to two places now and they've both asked me if I wanted to tint my brows. I was like, what? Why? Why would I want to tint my brows? 
Because my brows are quite, like, there's that gap there, but I don't know. I'd absolutely love to know. Do you tint your brows? Why do you do it? And look, I get it if you're a bit blonder. Um, but, and if you do, do you think I should get it done? Is that something worthwhile? I don't know. I've just, I've never thought about getting it done until these places were like, do you want your eyebrows tinted? Uh, it never occurred to me to be a thing that I should consider. So I'd absolutely love to know if you think I should try it. What do you think of it? Do you think it would make much difference? So this is Gimme Brow. This isn't a product I can use on its own. So let's go in with precisely my brow. But mostly because I like to sort of just join these little fellas to their friends. See? They just, they want to get in on the party. Um, and I've been getting threading done for a long time. But what I was noticing is that a lot of my upper brows were coming back in a bit funny. Because you can see where they were removing them. Like, if you can see up here. Um, so I was like, how much of my brows are they actually removing? And I like it at Benefit because they make this whole thing about it. It costs like the same amount to get your eyebrows waxed as it does to thread. And they like draw on them and they talk to you about your brows. And I pretend to know what I'm on about. Brows finito. There's a reason I'm stalling on the eyes. And this. I've been dying to play with this. I'm like having a corn celest candlelight. Celestial powder. I think the highlighter has like a really nice effect in the viewfinder, but mm, yeah, it's pretty. All right. This is what I've been delaying. Slimes all over the place. I've got the Astralis Stamp It Wing Liner. I've been dying to know if I can stamp a wing. So there it is. Not on me. So it's got like a liner edge. And the wing stamp. So I figure we should probably just go in with this. This is my first time ever using a stamp. I don't know what it's going to be like. It's quite like large for my eye. Like the actual thingy. So let's stamp the other one. Did I manage to do two completely different angles? Yes. So I sort of brought this one a bit more like this. Alright, I kind of... I mean, it's better than what I can do. I don't hate it. I think I wouldn't mind just using the stamp and having a thinner. Like pulling out my other liner and using that as a guideline. But I think with some more practice, I could definitely use this. I'm surprised. All right, waterline. All right, I don't have anything new for the waterline. I'm sorry. Um, let's go for some gold. Let's go into Teddy Talk from Colourpop. Are we finished? Well, mascara, mascara. The Colourpop BFF mascara. Now this is a volumizing mascara. I'm still figuring out if it's like my jam. But let's go in. Oh, I forgot to curl my... I think I always forget to curl my lashes. Oh, I'm getting some nice length out of this. I 
just going for another dip. It's feeling quite dry. I mean, it looks nice. Anyway, let's bring her in for a stare in. Uh, sorry if the volume just changed. I wasn't using my mic for a minute. But you can see the difference in audio. I think it's nice. It's a nice mascara. What? All right. This is me playing with a whole heap of new stuff. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope it was entertaining. Um, let me know what you thought of the stamp. How did I go? Do you have any tips? Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I absolutely appreciate and adore you. Uh, if this is your first time here, I'd love it if you consider subscribing. Leave a like. Drop a comment. Uh, let me know if you watched Russian Doll on Netflix yet. Because I finished it. It was really good. Don't leave any spoilers though. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Mwah.